Technology is advancing, and it's only good to learn them fast and apply them in every way possible. Blockchain technology has become a known shark in the tech space for some years now, and despite so much pushback, it has further delved into many industries while revolutionizing the way we approach a lot of things. Of course, I get the fact that since it's still in the early development stage, there's so much to learn and implement. This series of videos aims to introduce you to the basics of blockchain technology, how it works, and its application. For starters, imagine how easy life can become if you could send money to your family, staying thousands of miles away, in minutes without paying hefty banking fees. Now, think about having complete control of your money without requiring any permission from your bank to view or transfer it. And you could store your money digitally in a wallet without a bank governing it. All of these are already possible with blockchain, which offers a lot of capabilities and advantages. This is the reason why people are interested in learning about blockchain and embracing it. Welcome to Coinly YouTube channel, your number one channel for tech and blockchain product education. This video will be the first of three series on blockchain education for beginners, and we intend to break down what blockchain is all about so that everyone can understand it. However, this requires a lot of effort and hard work, so kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel, it's free, it's easy, and your way of supporting our hard work. Stay with me, get some popcorn, while we find out what blockchain is all about. What exactly is blockchain? Blockchain is an immutable or unchangeable and shared digital ledger that stores records or transactions in several places on a network of computers. Here, each verified transaction is added in a space called a block that links with other subsequent blocks with the help of cryptography, forming a chain. If that definition seems too difficult, which I know might be for most beginners, let's understand blockchain technology in simpler terms. Blockchain is a kind of database that stores data or records on a computer electronically. A block means a space that contains records, while chain in this context means a link connecting records. So, we can then agree to say that a chain of linked blocks containing records is called a blockchain. Furthermore, all blockchains are databases, but not all databases are blockchains. The difference between a database and blockchain is how they store data. Now, let's look into blockchain versus database. The database collects a vast amount of information and arranges it in a tabular format to allow users to modify data easily and simultaneously. Also, more extensive databases use servers with powerful computers to house massive data and perform computation. A company or an individual generally owns a database, hence, they control and manage its access. On the other hand, blockchain collects data in groups or blocks with a specific storage capacity. When a block's capacity is filled, it attaches to another block, forming a chain. All the new records following the subsequent, newly added block are compiled into the new block. Unlike a traditional database, a blockchain does not have a single owner, instead, it's accessible to everyone with permission. This is why it's also called a decentralized system, as there's no central hub to control the blockchain. Similarly, blockchain technology is called distributed ledger technology or DLT. It is a distributed ledger of records and allows users to share data or perform transactions peer-to-peer -peer with no central authority. Blockchain technology was invented by an unknown entity by the name Satoshi Nakamoto, an individual or a group of individuals in 2008, as a public Bitcoin transaction ledger. It aims to timestamp a digital document and ensure no one can tamper with it. It helps to solve the issues related to double records and perform secure transactions of assets without involving a third-party intermediary such as the government or bank. This technology works on the internet and comprises different parts like databases, connected computers or nodes, software applications, and many more which we won't be going into today. For instance, a company can leverage blockchain technology in its bookkeeping to record all transactions. Bookkeeping involves double-entry accounting for transactions that can be confusing and difficult to verify records by other parties. These records are also straightforward to tamper with, like edit, delete, or add a new record, hence, they may not be accurate. This is where blockchain can help them, by securing transactions with the help of cryptography. It offers a tamper-proof way of storing transactions in blocks. Before we continue, guys if you haven't liked this video, please hit that like button, and subscribe to our channel, thank you. So, what are the major components of blockchain? 
The blockchain architecture comprises various layers, such as infrastructure or hardware, data, networking like nodes, verification, information distribution, and applications. Let's understand some of its components. The first component is block. As explained earlier, blockchain refers to a chain of different blocks that contain data or records. And the data in each block is based on the kind of blockchain. For example, a banking blockchain will have blocks containing information such as account number, account holder's name, branch name, and so on. The first block in a blockchain is known as the genesis block, and all the blocks contain valid records encoded and hashed. Each block has a cryptographic hash of its own and that of the previous block in the same blockchain, linking them and forming a chain. This iterative process validates the previous block's integrity with digital signatures. The second component is hashing. The hash is like a fingerprint unique to every block. It is a code created using a mathematical function turning digital data into a long string of letters and numbers. This 64-digit hexadecimal number identifies each block and its content, and once it's created, any modifications in the block will change the hash. Blockchain technology uses the secure hash algorithm also known as SHA-256 hashing, and is highly useful to detect any change made in the transactions. It also makes it secure as all the blocks contain the hashes of the previous block. So, if an attacker changes data in a block, its hash changes, while the next block still has the old hash of the compromised block. Hence, all the succeeding blocks become invalid, that can easily be tracked. The third component is assets. Assets can be tangible or intangible. Tangible assets are physical items such as land, house, equipment, and so on. While intangible assets are non-physical items such as intellectual property contracts, copyrights, patents, etc. Interestingly, money can be both tangible and intangible. The fourth component is distributed peer-to-peer -peer network. Every transaction in a blockchain works in a distributed peer-to-peer -peer or P2P network that has no central authority to control data. It allows everyone who has access to join the blockchain, and every computer added to the network is a node. So, when a user creates a new block, it goes to each user on the network, and each node must verify this new block to ensure no one has altered it. When the verification is complete, each node starts adding the new block directly to their blockchain. All the nodes present in the network make a consensus, confirming the validity of blocks and rejecting the tampered ones. Guys, we have come to the end of the first series of blockchain for beginners. By now you should understand the meaning of blockchain, the founder of the blockchain concept, and some of the major component of blockchain. Kindly turn on your notification to get notified when we upload our next series, where we will be discussing types of blockchain and how blockchain works. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Kindly share this video with everyone who will like to learn a thing or two about blockchain. Don't hesitate to let us know what you will like us to discuss on this channel. See you next time.